And here we go with the ball going backwards to start with. And then Nathan Cameron just coming out from the defence to head away. It's come out towards the left-hand side. Petrasso was the man gathering it out there. And he is, of course, the top goal scorer for Barnett. As they get forward now with Mason Clark. He's going to try and turn out to the right-hand side. Outside of Jordan Cranston. But he's just played the ball a bit further forward there. And so the Moors will have a throw in. But he's gotten a throw in away here uh, towards Baker Richardson. And then the cross comes in from Mason Clark. It's cleared high rather than long by Cameron. It did reach Storey. He tried to volley it away. And now there's going to be a, a push there by Cameron. And that will see a free kick go Barnett's way. Well, let's see if Adeloy can bend it that way. Well, it's got the bend, but it's uh, got far too much height. Now, they have a corner of their own. And their big men are forward, but the corner is low. But it does arrive with Taylor, who gets away from ball there. Gets it back out towards the outside. Uh, now, a uh, ball just being worked inside. Callum Maycock going down under a challenge there, but no uh, free kick awarded. Now it's with Mason Clark looking for space and gets a strike. Uh, and it wasn't a million miles over there as he managed to work his way inside of Stora. And uh, Mason Clark so far is really causing problems with his quick feet. I, I, Seen, I've seen Ephraim Mason Clark play a few times. I don't recall his feet being quite as quick as that. That is nice footwork on the edge of the box there. He's um, probably unfortunate to strike, strike over. Stora cuts inside and now a ball towards a die who will use his strength this time against Beard and then cut inside. Get into the box and a low ball is out by Ben Richards Everton. Sabara this time does make the run into the box and it arrives his way and it arrives to Hudden but scrambled away. Hudden did get a strike on it but it uh, was oh and a good through ball here towards Tyra Williams. It goes out now towards the left hand side. There's always just no space for Williams to get off a shot. Now a dive from the left makes the man commit himself and then goes for glory and it was well never troubling the goal there a die uh, looking for the spectacular maybe we have been a little bit harsh on, on, on Kyle Hudlin at times but it, just on the basis of this game alone it, it, it does show some of the errors as now here is Hudlin on the ball and the goalkeeper was off his line initially and I thought Hudlin might look up but he's gone out to a die instead and a die oh hits it off of the angle there wow didn't see that one coming at all as a die just uh Saw a half a chance and I think he just wanted to catch the goalkeeper out there. And Adam Parks, I think, did not expect that one there. I don't think anybody other than Alex Adai, to be frank, did expect it. Well, to be honest, he did look like he was shaping to shoot. He didn't look like he was shaping to cross. And it's hit the angle of the uh, uh, of the post and it's gone out for a throw-in. Actually saw the, um, the fourth official there putting up the board and now Petrasso dispossessing Cameron and Baker Richardson is in here and Ty doesn't make the challenge and in the end I, I was waiting for the penalty to be given we've already seen Ty sent off in that sort of position and given away a penalty but that time Baker Richardson couldn't get it to Ryan Boots right hand side yeah I think Moore's already they've come out more vocal certainly a lot louder Yates might have uh, got into them a little bit during the halftime break and just said you know, they're a little bit passive and um, be a bit more aggressive out there. Uh, certainly, noise levels a lot higher. So let's see if that affects the, the output in their play as well. But they've already got in one good position so far. Yes, they have. And there does seem to be a little bit more intensity to go with the noise. As now the ball arrives with Maycock and a bit of space. He gets it forward towards Sabah, who's going to try and poke it through towards Ball, who gets on the end of it and flashes it home. And that is the opportunity the Moors have been waiting for. And what a quality ball that is from Joe Sabara. Just that delicate little chip. And it meant that not only did it beat the defender, but it also sat up perfectly for ball to strike it. If you want to strike a ball from an angle as tight as that, that's the flight of the ball that you want coming your way. It's perfect. Yep, that's where you want Sabara operating. That's what we talked about in those pockets. Great ball. Lovely touch from ball. Out on his feet. Sat up nicely for him, but a real true hit, as you said, and right across the goal. That's perfect. Um, but yeah, a bit more aggression, a bit more intensity since. Carl Stora gets a header away, but it's sideways more than anything. And it arrives with Mason Clark, who I think wanted to strike for a moment there, but several more players marking him. 
Inside it goes towards Patrasso, who tries to curl one, and it doesn't really have enough curl, and even if it did, it didn't really have the power either. Maycock and Donner are almost getting in each other's way there, and that allows Mason Clark to bring it away. Gets away from Stora, but Stora gets back goal side, looking for the space for a shot. He makes Maycock come in himself, but the effort is wide of boots near post. And there's once again some three, four, five Barnet players on the line. Petrasso, Taylor, Baker Richardson. Richards, Everton and Nugent all up there and it goes oh. and this should be a goal but it's offside in the end as a matter of fact as it was a header from Richards, Everton that went towards the near post and it arrived with a Barnet man right in the goal mouth but in the end the offside flag goes up I was trying to see who it was it might have been was it Petrasso there getting his uh, legs in a tangle yeah, they're both naturally midfielders, are the two that have come on as it's headed across the... It's headed across his, his, his own goal there. I uh, couldn't quite tell who that came off of, such as the, uh, the, 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 the sun and how strong it is from our angle. But it's going to be put in on the corner by Vazilio and it goes all the way through. Stora gets on the end of it, but then it forward there behind his head by Nugent. And it's safely into the hands of Ryan Booty. Now it should sit up for Adeloy to nod it down towards Aziliu, and it does sit up. Tyron Williams is all the way back in Barnet territory now. Then Skeffington plays it forward, and this is Mason Clark down the line. Beard. That have players calling for it. McBurney's there, and he strikes, but it's off of Cranston. And McBurney there on the edge of the box. Looks like Aziliu would join. Just towards the edge of six sharp box there. He's actually just standing right by the penalty spot. Mason Clark and Taylor also there on the edge of the box. Moores need to track those players. It heads the way of Richards Everton. It's looping and half clear. Vasilio goes for a volley. It's blocked. Now Mason Clark towards McBurney looking for a higher ball, just chipping it forward. It's not a good header by Thompson, but he blocks the attempted cross on Vaughan with Taylor now. Donald we're doing a good job up against him. Now Skeffington, Maycock races out to come meet him. Storr is there with him too. Skeffington does a good job to get out towards McBurney. Archer will come out to him. And then Cranston will come out towards Vasiliu. Who does get inside of Cranston. And it's headed away once again by Tyrone Williams. And it will be a Barnet throw. 